Hello everybody, my name is Titanic of the 77 and welcome to Titanic and Honor, Titanic Honor and Glory uh, the demo 2. And this is the one second demo that they put out uh, of the uh, Titanic ship that I told you all about in the previous Titanic Honor and Glory video. And yes, this is copyright so I'm not going to be trying to boast on this sort of stuff. I'm not even going to try and monetize these videos. These are just going to be out there. Sort of deal, you know. But what these ones, this one goes into a lot, much more vast part of the ship, and I absolutely, this was the first one I played before I played the first one. So it's got a little bit more detail, it doesn't have like the black and white things going around it, but there are a lot, Is there's a lot of the ship covered. <laughs> now, uh, I have to post like a, of what this one is, uh, well this is loading, it's right there, ooh the green is it is what we're going to be able to see. So, yeah, this one will be good. There it goes. Because this one, because it's so large, it takes a little bit for it to launch. You know what, it, you know what I mean? So, this will be a little bit. I'm going to go and cover, and I'm going to zoom my face in it just a little bit. We're going to teleport to where it starts working as of now. Well, see that it works. See that it works. The only thing this one has is it has the I to toggle the info ball, uh, boxes and the M to toggle music. And as you see, this one's dark. And this is the same as before. We start off yet again on D deck. Oh, this is what the, behind the curtains now. Remember the curtain? That was around here. It's gone, and we can see a hallway and some blueprints. Elevator, elevators, and here's oh, we can go see the smoking room. What it looks like? Well, was it the smoking room or was it the diner? It was the saloon. My bad. The meal service in the first class dining saloon was introduced to price of one first class ticket. Sunday morning's room would be used for religious services. The saloon was being set for breakfast during the iceberg collision. And this is what the saloon looked like. That is still just gorgeous. I mean, gorgeous. And as you can see, they, as you can see, they moved the piano from over there to over here. One of six on the piano. See, it's even brighter now because it's daytime. This is about all it has to offer for the first part. This over here is lit up and that doesn't excuse anymore and as you can see the doors don't open anymore because they didn't work as much mechanical on this one as they did in the other one and as you can see that one's closed off you want to see you have to go do the first demo which we've already seen it and that's over there's the exact same if, if you're wondering where I'm, why I'm going in here it's just like oh we already see it well they open the door you can see the electric bath. Worth it. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. You don't have no idea how much I love this. And I'm having a little bit of fun with it because uh, this is C deck. I should have started up from over here. This is the purser's office. Inside this office was the ship's safe where passengers can have valuable stored. I wonder how much money is inside there. I wouldn't want to mess with them. The, in the inquiry office. The passengers could uh, purchase wireless telegrams, store valuables, purchase tickets for the Turkish bath, and other shipboard, acti shipboard, shipboard activities. They request assistance and request assistance for information. Oh, that's pretty. I didn't notice that before. That is. I did that. Hmm. I was like burned or etched in the wood. Hmm. Sorry, I wonder if it's burned or etched into the wood. And as you can see, that. <laughs> Let's go look at the B deck first, and then we'll worry about that later. Because B deck's a small room. B deck's cabins. 
some more elevators. Oh, there's you can see what the inside of the elevator looks like. Gorgeous. That's something on the doors. The B deck boarding entrance. This is another area where they would let people onto the ship. People would get onto the ship from here. Be that cabin map midships. Notice this Friday, the 12th of April 1912. The daily run of the ship will be posted at noon. Weather clear afternoon skies, temperature around 60 degrees with the sun, wind, and rain from the northwest tonight. Please consider a contribution. Enjoy your early demo of Titanic Honor and Glory. And there's the website. Hmm. Let's see, Friday, April 12th. So this was their second. This build is focused on the second day of the ship sailing. Nice. These stairs lead up to A deck and the boat deck, as well as the lounge, reading, writing room, and the gymnasium. And <laughs> you can't get that far. You can see a little bit of it, but not a lot. The lights ain't even on up there, but they would—they don't really need to be. A deck's kind of small. As you can see, there's the first class dome of the grand staircase. I wonder if I could see the one light. Yep, that light right there. Oh, that's cool. I know what that light. I know. Uh, any of y'all that have searched up what Titanic looks like underwater have seen that light. I will flash a picture of what it looks like now. Down there. Ooh, wait. Yeah, down there. Ooh. See that plant sticking out of it? But that is the same light. <laughs> As you can see, I am very nerdy about Titanic. Or grand staircase dome. Ah, oh, it just makes me giddy. Mm. Alright, I'm tired. You can see more rooms. This is gorgeous. Major Arthur Pro oh, Com Commodore of the Royal Canadian Yacht Club, and he was one of the few males to board a lifeboat. And, you know, and, uh, because he is a, a member of a yacht club, he knew how to sail, so they put him on a lifeboat. Because he knew how to sail. Some more people. Even more people. More people. Made to Mrs. Thayer. That's Jack Thayer. So where's... I hope they stayed in the same room. Single. Now, one of these rooms, if I'm not mistaken, is a bathroom. Benjamin Foreman. Named Mrs. Prasano. Victor and Maria Prasano. Honeymooners! I think, I think there were about three honeymoons occurring on Titanic when it sank. That's sad. Uh, three sisters traveling home from their fourth sister's funeral. Aw, I hope they made it. The set. This is why Isidore and Aida Stratus, co owner of Macy's department store. You know the old couple that refused the a lifeboat on the ship in the movie? And then you see them like sitting in their bed as the water rose. That's them. That's their room. C57. Made to Mrs. Stratus. <laughs> Servant to Mr. Stratus. Then the Stratus sitting room. Yep. You got. First class gets a sitting room with theirs. Ain't that interesting? Where's the bathroom? There. This is a bathroom. There is a bathtub in there. <laughs> I knew it! As you can see, I'm a very big nerd on Titanic. I don't have a problem, you have the problem. Oh, here's the gentleman's restroom down there. Somewhere. Paper food containers. I don't know. You know the American paper food containers, you know, like hot dogs and stuff go in? They brought it to England. And I don't remember if they made it or not. Director of the paper cup manufacturer. Foremost surgeon in Wisconsin. That's cool. Made to Mrs. Weeder. Nope. Uh, that's. 
Bela Han. Widener University, Philadelphia. Sermon to Mr. Widener. Philadelphia's Rabbi Memorial Library is dedicated to him. Oh. That's sad. What is this crew? Yep. Aids and Valet's Saloon Pantry. It's crew only. Executive of Quaker Oats. <laughs> I wonder if they made it. Doctor in field of chronic joint disease. Hmm. Wonder if we have any things to add to him. Madame de Valliers, alias alias of uh Mel Bertha Wayne Maine. <laughs> Belgian singer secretly engaged a passenger, Quig Baxter. I'm just have to see if I can find a picture of that. Well known dog breeders. What if they have. Oh, they should probably had some on the ship. There were a couple dogs on the ship. What if they were theirs? An American tennis player. Hmm. Yeah. At the bathroom. Of how much money went into all this sort of stuff? Chief Steward Andrew so and so. Second class promenade. Oh, the promenades are beautiful. Restaurant manager Luigi Gotti. Assistant surgeon Don Dr. John Simpson. No! Sip Surgeon Dr. William O'Loran to Shifts Surgery Hospital and the Second Class Promenade. Noted Yachtsman and Lace Importer. Hmm. I have to look at all these doors. I have to look at each and every one of them. Walter and Virginia Clark. Margaret Graham and Elizabeth Streets. DBT Shed pioneer and investigative journalist and editor. Jan Quayus, literally from a prominent American novelist. I have to look up one of their books later. John Florence Cummings, Wall Street stockbroker. Henry Irene Harris, director of theater, manager in Greater New York. Do 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 do. Oh, they even had an Easter. They have an Easter, Easter egg in this somewhere. And I really wish my computer would play it. Uh, what they're referencing to. Countess of the Ro Ross noted f uh, philanthropist and Gladys Cherry. Okay. Post officers and Marconi officers saloon. Cool. Your cabin in Titanic Adventure Out of Time, Cyberfix 1996. Now this is the Easter egg I was talking, telling you about. I actually bought the game. It's a little 1996 disc. And... Yeah, you plug into your PC, but you need a specific type of Windows to run it, and Windows 10 does not run it. So we cannot see it. So I cannot play it. I would have to play it on a different computer. And I do not think we have one that has that particular brand of Windows on it. And I don't even know. I wouldn't even want to revert back on this PC to that Windows. It would be awful. Anyway, you can look it up. You can look up videos to it by other people. All you have to look up is Titanic Adventure Out of Time, no commentary. And you can see the entire story of the ship. And it is amazing graphics for the time. I'm very impressed with it. It even, it even surpasses Final Fantasy VII that came out the year later. <laughs> that supposedly had the best graphics ever. <laughs> Raymond Arjuna previously survived the sinking of the ship. America spent 40 years recovering from the trauma. Titanic was the first ship that made him feel safe. So he survived the sinking of a ship, was traumatized by the experience, never wanted to get on a ship again. Titanic was said to be unsinkable, nothing could sink it. Let you know that night was pure hell for him. More lavatories. Okay, we're back to these people.
back down here. Now, the fun part with some of these things down here is it's still for a lot of this fully furnished as well. Maids and valet saloon, first class passengers, personal servants took their meals here. This is cool. Oh, pretty. This one's only two of them. And the Titanic had a barber shop. Shave a haircut and buy souvenirs. It's pretty. They should have. Uh, I'm gonna flash a picture of what this one looks like as well. And this one's just beautiful. This interesting as well. Uh, I really wish they would have took the time and put like all the flags and stuff that are everywhere in it. But that's a good get up right there. Look up. Dog breeders. Yep, that's about it for right here. Don't say anything about this one. B deck cabin and mission ships. This is the B deck restaurant reciprocation room. Reception. <laughs> Known as the Palm Room by passengers, they enjoyed after dinner music from the ship's trio. They had coffee and refreshments here. I wonder if this was where like the uh, violinists played for the mo a lot of their sh time on the ship. That is gorgeous. Ooh, that's promenades. No, we don't need to see that yet. Francis Brown until he disembarks in Queenstown, Ireland. I believe he... I don't want to confuse my stuff, but if I remember correctly, he was the guy that snuck out in a mailbag. Because he had a bad feeling about the ship. I'm thinking that's him. Oh, wow. I didn't even know about this part. Oh, wow. That's gorgeous. I really wish this. Uh, let me out. Let me out. A deck promenade. I won on the promenade. Ah, we should look at these things. First class smoke room. A treat for men to smoke, drink, gamble, and talk business among the atmosphere of smoking man. Uh, and mahogany inlaid with mother of pearl. That sounds gorgeous. Can I see? I see a reflection of this. And we need to see his room real quick. Look at this room. Look at that. It's got a fan. That, that, that's well worth the price of the ticket right there. We get our own fan. Well, he got his own fan. I really would. And they did pretty well with mirror graphics. Mirror graphics are, seem like they're a little complicated. Only a few games are able to get them in without your uh, running like pure crap afterwards. Hey, a camera! Yeah, it's, yeah, that's right. Interesting, they even made this camera. I'm gonna save that one for later. This is also the smoke room, ain't it? Yep. And this is also the A they did promenade? Okay! Nope, we're still going to... I don't want to ruin that one. Ah, uh, it's just gorgeous. Adek promenade, I wish I could go out there and see it. Let's wait to the lounge. The lounge passengers could gather, read, and have refreshments, play board games, and socialize in a room presenting a great palace in France. Aww, I want to go there. I want to see it. <laughs> Alright. I've been trying to... Most important people in all of the Titanic. Thomas Andrews. He was the second designer of the Titanic, head of the uh, Guarantee Group. He was the nephew of the original designer, and the original designer was the uh, reason why he retired is because he wanted to have the entire top of the deck filled with lifeboats to be safe to accommodate for every passenger. And the people of White Star Line said, "No, that's just you don't want to freak people out. You make them think we're going to sink. You don't want them to think we're going to sink. That's just stupid." The, the requirement for ships this size from the guidelines already is 16 ships. Ships, 16 lifeboats. I mean, we already got 16. We'll make it 20 if it'll make you happy. We'll put in 20. That's four extra lifeboats. He still was not happy with it, and he quit. That was the end of his shipbuilding. He quit. <laughs> and they gave the job to his nephew. And he was the one that finished building Titanic. And getting what we have here. And that's just, God, that's just beautiful. And you know what's funny about his ship is, uh, his room is it looks similar to the other one, but it's got blueprints.
blueprints everywhere. Highly detailed blueprints. It's, it's on that. And a picture of somebody. And I know that's not Thomas Andrews. So I wonder who took a picture and put themselves in. I wonder which one of the designers took a picture and put themselves in it. Oh, wow, look at that ocean. Gorgeous. And here's the bow of the ship. There's the stern. Oh, that's the water line. See, it's got a little flag on the back there. White sign on the ship. Ooh, what is this? This is the flag. Okay, now for the one other thing I wanted to show you that is absolutely gorgeous and I, one of my favorite parts. They nailed this one. I have a picture. And, uh... <laughs> the Café Partisan. The cafe is designed to resemble a patio cafe in France, complete with the artificial vines and windows open to sea air. Passengers could rags, order tea, and pastry served by authentic French waiters who were indeed actually Italian. Oh my god, a real Frenchman! We. <laughs> the second class promenade. Where was I just said that before? I don't remember. Eh, hey, look at here. Your restaurant cashier. Oh, wait, I forgot the one of the most important part. Spot for your coats and hats. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. Bartender. <laughs> Get me a whiskey on the rocks. Yeah. <laughs> the Ala Carte restaurant, like the first class dining salon on D deck. Dining in this restaurant not included in the standard pass passengers ticket. For an addition for an for an added fee, passengers may order from a menu at any time between eight AM and eleven PM. I wonder if this one was open when the ship was sinking. To the restaurant, pantry, and galley. Ah, I wanna go. <laughs> Let me go. This is running about the time I figured it it might take to run through all this. I'm just gonna look at this one for a little bit because my God, this is beautiful. I'm a little. I'm. I'm saddened by the fact. Hey, another fan. Uh. I don't know if a bunch of y'all know about this, but uh, I, but uh, there is in talks of a Titanic, of a full scale Titanic being remade in China from a billionaire who made a company called Blue Star Line, and he's going to spend a lot of money to build a complete, to exact detail Titanic of what this will be. Unfortunately, it will never sail around. It will never sink because it will always be it will be stationary. It will not go into sea waters. Although there will be things to where you can reenact the sinking. I don't know how much I'd want to do in that. I mean, that sound, that sounds completely and pure awesome, but you'd have to go to China to see it. I'm just like. You could have built it in Ireland. <laughs> the reason I say Ireland is because that's where this was created. It was created in a port in Ireland. And... That's about it. That's about all this ship, this ship has to offer. We went through the long hallway, both sides, read every name. Well, and what they do. Seen the Easter eggs. We've man we've seen just about everything else in from the other area in the first demo. It looked like that, and I could really creep y'all out with one thing, but that would have to be for a later video, and I'm not nowhere near done with it yet. But I'm just going to be saying I might be obsessed with Satanic and I might be building this exact same thing in Minecraft on PlayStation. 
my own PlayStation because I can have help by Andrew and Seth because they don't have a PC. Well, they have PC. Well, Andrew has a PC, but he broke it. <laughs> and <laughs> and Seth has one, but he has no idea if it could run Titanic. I mean, uh, run Minecraft. Of course, I have built a pretty same replica model and PC but the PS3 one is larger because I have more work done on it. Uh, the PC is made by guesstimates on how it looked. The PS3 one is built to look exactly like this. And I'm actually proud to say I actually got I have built these B, I have built B deck the entire the entirety of the B deck that I've seen in this part C deck and D deck as well as going down to E and also F. And I did a really smack job in building it as well, if I must say so myself. Oh, I gotta go look at the mirror now. That's all fun. Please contribute to our to us at www.titanichg.com. Guys, I, I can't stress this enough either. Please go and fund this. They are putting a lot of work and time into building stuff like this. It is an entire, and these demos right here are entirely free as they are right now. I have no idea how much the final game will be. I have no idea how uh, how large the final game will be. I do know that they are a vast majority of the ship is made. And they just have to put finer details into it. They just have to put the little fine details into it. I mean, look at that. That even like just like small like that. That's just. It's mind-boggling. Not to mention, uh, I could even pull up, I believe I have a book. Give me one second. Yeah. If I were to look at deck D, it, they, have, they have placed the chairs in about the exact same order as they are on this. They even went into that detail on how the ship is. I mean, they have, they put a lot of time and effort into this. Into this, and I would want. I very much want to see the finished product. And I'm sure y'all do as well. Please go and contribute to TitanicHonorAndGlory.com. Anything, anything that would help them uh, really would help. Anything at all that you would want to contribute would really help them. I mean, just look at this. Don't would you? And I would really prefer. I would probably buy an Oculus just for the sake of walking around the ship and looking through it and just feel like it. Like I'm turning and looking at it, I would absolutely cry at that. But thank you all for watching. I hope you all have enjoyed the. I hope you all have enjoyed this. I hope you all have been informed of a little bit of stuff on the ship and seeing how much detail they'll go and put into this. And yeah, I believe that is it. I mean, just look at that. Even it just looks like it's woven completely back there. <laughs> I'm rambling. I'm rambling. But please go and uh, at least visit their website, share their website, promote their website, promote them. Get them out there. Get them to where they can get some contribution to anything like that. I'm sure they would greatly appreciate it. And think I cannot stress that enough. But anyway, thank you all. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope y'all have a great. I uh, hope y'all have a great day upon this of when y'all are watching. For me, it is Sunday. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank y'all, and I will see y'all. Uh, thank y'all, and I will see y'all next time. Bye bye. Can you honestly not see me? Where did you think I'd find me up here? <laughs> <laughs>